Aprilia introduces the latest addition to its sport bike lineup with the RS457, boasting a 457 cubic centimeters parallel twin engine with a 270 degree crank, delivering a claimed 48 horsepower and 32 pound FT of torque, all packed within a 386 pound frame. Developed from scratch, the RS457 follows the design ethos of the RS660, utilizing the engine as the primary structural element while compacting it into a smaller form factor to comply with European A2 license standards. Addressing a market gap between the RS125 and the award-winning RS660, Aprilia strategically positions the RS457 in the 300cc, 500cc segment, an area experiencing heightened interest. Despite acknowledging the street-oriented nature of rival models in this category, Aprilia remains steadfast in prioritizing track performance, true to its RS heritage. Prior to its inception, Aprilia meticulously analyzed A2 license requirements, aiming to precisely meet the power-to-weight ratio threshold of 0.2 kilowatts per kilogram. Any deviation from this delicate balance would disqualify the RS457 from A2 eligibility, aligning with Aprilia's commitment to performance excellence evident in its MotoGP endeavors. The heart of the RS457 lies in its dual 36mm throttle bodies feeding the 457 cubic centimeters liquid-cooled DOHC 4-valve per-cylinder parallel twin engine, generating claimed figures of 47.6 horsepower at 9,400 rpm and 32.08 pound FT of torque at 6,700 rpm. Equipped with a six-speed transmission featuring a slipper-slash-assist clutch and optional bidirectional quickshifter, the RS457 exhibits impressive low-end torque, enabling confident acceleration even from tight corners, thanks to its engine tuning delivering 82% of maximum torque at 3,000 rpm. Complemented by a responsive ride-by-wire system, the RS457 offers intuitive throttle control, ensuring a connected riding experience on both street and track. A robust and expansive mid-range effortlessly propels the bike from corner to corner, with peak horsepower reaching near the red line of approximately 10,500 rpm. Examining the engine's dyno chart reveals an exceptionally broad power curve, rendering the 457 cubic centimeters parallel twin adaptable and versatile on the racetrack. Maintaining third gear throughout the entire track, only transitioning to fourth and fifth on the straights, proved to be effortlessly achievable on the 2.1-kilometer-long, 1.3-miles, circuit. While our experience with the RS457 was limited to the racetrack, the evident bottom-end torque, potent mid-range, and commanding top-end suggest that the 457 cubic centimeters parallel twin will excel off the track as well. The 270-degree crankshaft not only produces a robust and resonant exhaust note, but also delivers the characteristic engine pulses synonymous with this configuration, contributing to the RS457 stellar performance across the RPM range. Chassis and Suspension Much like its predecessor, the Aprilia RS660, the RS457 integrates the engine as the primary structural component. The cast aluminum frame, unique within its class, directly interfaces with the engine, as does the steel swing arm, exhaust, and foot pegs, all aimed at preserving the sport bike's compactness, agility, and lightweight profile. Drawing from Aprilia's expertise in crafting sporty and agile chassis showcased in models like the RSV4, Tuono 1100, and RS660, the RS457 upholds this legacy. The chassis rigidity has been meticulously calibrated for track performance, ensuring precise and responsive handling. Even under the stresses of corner entry and exit, the chassis exhibits no flex or instability, providing riders with a firm and assured riding experience. The compact chassis facilitates swift changes in direction, allowing riders to effortlessly navigate tight corners and chicanes. Negotiating the intricacies of the Italian circuit merely required anticipation of the upcoming apex, with the bike faithfully following the rider's intended trajectory through each corner. The suspension setup comprises a 41mm inverted fork with preload adjustment, providing 4.7 inches of travel, and a monoshock with preload adjustment, offering 5.1 inches of travel, without any damping adjustments available. Aprilia aimed for stiff suspension action to enhance the sporty riding experience. Whether accelerating or decelerating, 
the bike maintains chassis stability without unsettling from front to back, ensuring a steady ride. During corner entry, the front end offers ample support and feedback, enabling the rider to gauge traction levels precisely. Even under hard braking into apexes, the suspension remains composed and unstrained despite the absence of adjustments. The braking system features a single 320mm rotor paired with a four-piston Bybri caliper at the front and a 220mm rotor with a dual-piston Bybri caliper at the rear. Aprilia initially experimented with a dual-disc setup but opted for a single-sided system to minimize the gyroscopic effect on the front wheel, reducing rotating forces by approximately 15%. The responsive braking system encourages late braking into corners, and the taut damping of the suspension allows riders to explore their maximum braking potential without issues lap after lap. Throughout our track sessions in Medina, there was no degradation or fading in performance from any components, with the front end delivering sharp and consistent responses devoid of any vagueness or softness. Electronics Hailing from Noali, Italy, the RS457 inherits technology and innovations from Aprilia's GP racing endeavors, even in its compact form. Aprilia's introduction of electronic throttle to the GP grid now finds its way into the RS457, offering three ride modes, Sport, Eco, Rain, three levels of traction control, ATC1, ATC2, ATC3, plus off, and two levels of ABS, 1. ABS active on the front wheel, 2. ABS active on both wheels. The ability to adjust ride modes and traction control on the fly enhances the bike's versatility, providing a race-ready experience both on and off the track. The majority of our track time at Autodromo di Medina was spent in sport mode with rear ABS deactivated, ABS-1. Each ride mode offers customizable parameters, with all three utilizing ABS-2 as the default. To deactivate rear ABS, riders must come to a complete stop. Sport mode, particularly on the racetrack, delivered the most aggressive throttle response, enabling the RS457 to accelerate strongly out of corners. With ABS-1 engaged, the rear tire could skid and slide into upcoming corners, allowing us to explore the maximum braking potential and have a blast sliding the tire lap after lap into turn one. During our time with the Aprilia RS457, we were fortunate to have Pirelli Diablo Supercorsa V4 SP tires on warmers instead of the stock Aprilia-branded TVS Eurogrip Pro Torque Extreme tires. This reduced the necessity for more sensitive traction control settings like ATC2 and ATC3. In sport mode, ATC1. The traction control system remained unobtrusive, facilitating maximum acceleration while providing a safety net in case of sudden rear tire slippage. The system intervened only once during our sport mode ride, when we recklessly opened the throttle at a sharp lean angle after missing an apex and straying off the racing line. Exploring eco mode and rain mode revealed noticeable differences in throttle mapping and traction control intervention. Eco mode, while still potent, exhibited slower engine response at low RPM and slightly more intrusive traction control, ACT2, compared